Hey everybody, we're here at Spring Quilt Market, Ricky Tim's, I know you know that, but this is my good friend Kat Bowser, and if you've ever paid any attention to those Christmas concerts that we roll out, Kat was the one that sang with me. We've been friends for a very, very long time. Very long time. Kat and I are working on a book. Yay. Yay. All right. And we have created a character called Lizzie Albright. There you go. We're right there on the shirts. Lizzie Albright is a, tell them about it. Oh, she's a fantastic young 10 year old and her birthday is on Christmas Eve. Yep. And the book is set in 1964. So let's stop. Because many of you think, where was I Christmas Eve 1964? 1964. How old was I Christmas Eve 1964? Now I know some of you weren't around, but a lot of us were, I was eight. Okay. Now, where were you? That was a thought. <laughs> <laughs> but in 1964, we had things like, let's see, we had uh, we had Beehive Hairdos. We did. The Beatles were big. Um, station wagons with rear-facing seats. What kind of hairspray? Uh, Aquanet. Aquanet and Juicy Fruit Chewing Gum and all those kinds of things. So we start our story in 1964. It's Christmas Eve. Lizzie's celebrating her birthday. And off they go to Granny's house in the afternoon. Now, Granny lives, first of all, Lizzie lives in Overland Park, Kansas. Yeah. Which is actually where we are right now, kind of. That's we're right. in Kansas, we're in City. Kansas City. Yeah. And so Lizzie and her family go to Granny's house and Granny lives in Southeast Kansas mm -hmm. in a mansion. All right. Big old mansion. I mean, God, look at the size of that oh, mansion. Fantastic. And that's, there's a reason for that. You don't need to know right now, but Lizzie loves to spend time in Granny's attic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. She goes up to the attic where she spends time with the dolls. Oh yeah. She sings stories to the stuffed animals. She loves to wear Granny's ball, ball gowns. gowns and it's just, up. yeah, it's just her special place. But later that evening, while she's in the attic, who comes? She decides to go in exploring in Granny's cedar chest. Yeah, cedar chest. Yeah, and in the chest, she discovers an old quilt. Da 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 da, -da. Here's where the quilt element yeah. comes in. And this old quilt, this heirloom quilt, is a sampler quilt with different blocks. There's names like... Uh, Bear Paw. Yeah, Bear Paw. Uh, Flying Geese. Flying Geese. There's Attic Window. Oh, Scotty Dog. Scotty Dog. <laughs> Honey Bee. And all of this. And the little 10-year-old Lizzie Albright, she is imagining, oh, what would a Bear Paw blog be? What would Flying Geese be? And she gets to sleep under it that night. So she goes to bed, and suddenly she hears that Granny has a Scotty Dog. Oh, yeah. that little dog's kind of gruffing outside the door. She gets up, and McDougal the dog and Lizzie go up the stairs to the attic. They open the door to the attic, and they see the attic window. And in the window is the silhouette of a goose. Now, Lizzie a is petrified. Yeah, well, it's a, yeah, absolutely. It's a flying goose from the flying geese. The, the, she thinks, oh my God, it's in the winter storm. It's trapped. I need to save this wonderful goose. Yeah. And she goes and she opens the window and I'm not telling you anymore. <gasps> I'm not going to tell him anymore past no! that. That's Lizzie Albright. So here's the deal. It's a novel. It's a chapter book. It's not a little illustrated children's book. This book. is, uh, if you can think of it, think of Harry Potter meets Wizard of Oz meets Alice in Wonderland meets Narnia. Yeah. I mean, it's all of that rolled together. But then once the book is out, and that's coming in 2020, then we have the Lizzie Albright quilt. I have a fabric line already in the work with Ben Artex to, to make the Lizzie Albright quilt. We're looking at children's curriculum, all these things for shops for people to be involved in the whole Lizzie Albright brand and the products that were coming. So Lizzie yes, Albright Liz is yesterday. That's today's right. day two that the world knows about Lizzie Albright. And if you've got your demographic, you came from 1964, I hope you've got a child that will read the book and be excited about sewing with you. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to make cheater blocks too. So if there's somebody that doesn't know how to make squares and triangles, they can just do the cheater block and they can still make the Lizzie Albright quilt. Yeah. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff coming. Cat Bowser, Ricky Tims.